brothers and sisters, I really wanted to bear my testimony today on the love I have for apostles and prophets that are on the earth. So grateful. I, I was reflecting back at the time of my conversion to the gospel of Jesus Christ, and the first thing I gained a testimony of was Joseph Smith as a prophet of God, and how he saw God the Father and Jesus Christ, and how the Lord used this young boy to bring about great things. And I've been thinking recently about maybe some words of our prophet and apostles that are being a little harder to accept in my life, and yet I know that they are true prophets and apostles that are guiding this church. And I think about President Nelson and the challenge that he has right now to guide us all in such turbulent times and circumstances and how challenging that must be. But then I think of the mission of the church and the gathering of Israel that is so important to President Nelson and his, his, his purpose and his, as he guides the church, is to bring souls unto Christ and to keep this church going and to keep the temples open as long as possible. And I know that sometimes they have to do hard things and say hard things. And so recently when Elder Holland got a lot of um, pushback from certain people about his comments to the faculty at BYU, my heart ached for him because I could feel the love that he has for every person on this earth, that he is an apostle for every soul on this earth. Regardless of their trials and circumstances, I know how much he loves them, and I felt that as I listened to his, his talk to BYU. But I know, brothers and sisters, that as members of the church, it is so important that we uphold the doctrines of the church, even when we don't fully understand or have a testimony of them, we have to fall back on what we do know and build upon that, line upon line, precept upon precept. We will be asked to defend our faith in many different ways throughout our life. Let's let our light shine. Let's let our testimony of Jesus Christ and his true church come from us in a way that is undeniable to those who don't know him and don't know what we're all about. There's a lot of misconceptions out there. Let us not add to them. Let us be strong in the faith. That is what the Lord needs of us right now. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ.